Christmas Day. December 24th, 2015. going basically through uh, kind of like downtown Chicago only it's not exactly downtown it's <laughs> it's uh, I-94 speed limit is 45 miles per hour no cops everybody's driving 60 Welcome to Chicago. See, 290. I don't need 290. I need this one. I need... Because I'm trying to get to uh, 94 in Indiana without paying tolls. Oh, look at this beautiful skyline. So I took from Wisconsin, I took Highway 41, US 41, instead of 90, 94. And then 41 actually turned into, into 94, all toll free. And now you see here, there was a sign that said, uh, I think these two lanes, well, these people, they're fucking crazy. Look at this guy. He almost hit me. Yeah, today is, you gotta be very careful driving today. Because they, that big dinner yesterday, yeah, I see 290. After three kilometers, keep left. Interstate 90. Eastbound. Oh, okay. Interstate 94. Eastbound towards Indiana. Yeah, I don't want to take 290 because that's a tall, high, tall road. And usually over here, there's. Uh, I never take this route when I'm loaded. Because there's too much traffic here. And this particular this particular spot, the junction of 290 and uh, 90 or 94. <laughs> see like look at that guy. He went from that lane over all these markings to this lane. So basically, I'm going to take it slow. Oh, I, I hate these. I hate these concrete barriers. But at least I'm not paying any tolls. So that's the good, the good news. Yeah, and this one, it goes straight down. And there will be only one catch at the bottom there. I'll have to take an exit. Because if I stay on this one... Oh yeah, 90 and 94, they split. So right now it's two freeways basically go as one. 94 and 90. But before you enter Indiana, uh, they split and 90 becomes a toll highway. Whereas uh, 94 is free. So yeah, I would have to take uh, 94 and then go straight south towards uh, I-80. 
Oh, by the way, uh, overnight. So I was at this truck stop in Racine. The, the wind was like a hurricane. My whole truck was, was moving during the night. Yeah, see, and this is a car GPS, right? So it says stay left. Uh, those are express lanes. And I look at the sign on the top, it says no trucks. So that's how you use a car GPS in a truck. You just, you know, you listen to your GPS, but then you see if there's any restrictions for trucks. Yeah, no trucks, okay, I'll stay here. I'll stay in the collectors, in the local lanes. Yeah, over there, black and white, it says no trucks, express. Left lane, right. So I'm going to go in the left lane with a 75 foot long uh, truck. <laughs> that would definitely attract some law enforcement attention, even though you don't see them, but I know they're sitting somewhere. I saw one guy. No, I saw two uh, way back. Okay, 1994 Express is this two? Yeah, these are all exits. Now all of a sudden I'm in the left lane. That's not good. this way I like the middle lane just basically leave leave the curb lane for people jumping off and jumping on oh you see I forgot this like because I don't drive here often no actually this lane still remains the extreme left lane which is not good for me because I'm slow and plus the speed limit is 45 and I don't want to break the rule I don't want to speed but yeah the most interesting part was that uh, skyline uh, I have a video on my channel called the uh, trucking through Chicago check that one out uh, that one is when I go through I think this highway yeah and then 41 but it was a rush hour crazy traffic uh, so today it's not that bad because this is kind of like Sunday right yeah you see the sign speed limit 45 look at that guy on the left <laughs> I'm doing 50 so what do you think this guy is doing in the red car I'm guessing 65 at least 70 you know 510 miles over as one US cop explained to me Skyway Skyway is the toll for toll uh, yeah no trucks Express, no trucks, no, I cannot go there. Yeah, as one cop in California explained to me, he says, five, five to ten, I have no problem with that. So that would be 50, 55 here. But today's Christmas Day, there's lots of drunk people, and I'm pretty sure there's more cops today. So they might not be as they might not be as lenient as on regular days, you know. So I'm just playing it safe, you know. And plus, like my favorite trucker's manual book in Canada says, choose your speed 
uh, choose the lowest speed that will get you to your destination on time now my destination is 500 miles to the east Canada and I don't have an appointment at my local Starbucks you know I can take all the time I want and save some fuel Here's a 94 split splits from 57 and I wanted to show you guys on the left the Chicago train and yeah the highway follows the railroad here and they look pretty nice all shiny like all aluminum yeah that's the station basically open platform with the roof Kind of reminds me of a subway in Moscow, Russia. Yeah, over here. Two lanes go 94 east, 57 goes south. Three lanes. Look at this guy. Beautiful. this is it this is 94 so I managed to drive uh, for free through Chicago even though I had to go through some lights on 41 there and go through busy uh, downtown area if I wanted to pay toll I would have uh, taken 294 but this way I saved probably, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. So I'm pretty happy with myself. So now, yeah, it's 58 kilometers to my first stop. I'm gonna stop in, uh, no, slightly less. I wanted to stop like exit 15 in Indiana. Maybe have something to eat at the Denny's there at uh, Flying J and then keep moving uh, eastward and you know I want to relax today I don't want to drive too much so I'll probably be in Canada tomorrow and I already talked to my uh, local shop Mac shop uh, Monday 7 o'clock 7.30 um, I'm bringing my truck and trailer and I will be replacing uh, all shocks and they told me over there it's 50 to 100 bucks uh, per shock depending on the brand I guess and the and quality or something so much cheaper than than here in US and plus it's Canadian dollars I said how much you charge for labor I said half an hour he says no just uh, 0 0.3 so 20 minutes per shock you know as long as of course they're easy to to remove but I, I don't expect they will run into uh, too much trouble because it's a one-year-old truck right oh, look at this crazy you know because he's blocking this lane anyway because if I'm in the truck I cannot stay in this lane I would have hit him so you might as well drive in this lane at least people can see you you know I mean it's easier to pass stay behind you but like this they're not letting me in 
some of these uh, you know city workers they're just I don't know that's how accidents happen right the guy drives his his wheels are on my on the on the white line yeah basically that's what I'm saying that on Christmas on Christmas Day you gotta be extremely careful lots of crazy drivers that probably were sitting at home now all of a sudden they decide they need to drive somewhere like that guy it's probably like a part-time driver you know they hire lots of those just for the season and his main job is probably driving a uh, Toyota Prius you know I'm just guessing and he gets into this truck hey it's not that big I can drive on the shoulder okay well I guess that's it this is definitely the last Christmas related video so so no load nothing I'm going empty so replacing shocks and uh, they might have a load for me next week basically between Christmas and New Year I said yeah I'll take anything just I'm available so be safe and Merry Christmas again to everybody and happy holidays